Hi friends, time for a bedtime story. So get comfy and cozy and grab your PJs, brush those teeth and share this story with me called Christopher Sat Up Straight in Bed. Ooh, let's find out. Whoa, what was that? Christopher sat up straight in bed. He watched, he waited, he didn't hear anything else. So he laid back down. Must have been a dream, he said, and he closed his eyes. And then he heard it again. Honk oh. He sat up straight in bed. Sounds like an elephant trumpeting. Tiptoed to the window and looked up, but he only saw the moon playing hide and seek in the clouds. So he waited and he listened. He didn't hear anything else except the squeak of his grandparents' bed. So he crawled back into bed and closed his eyes, and then he heard it again. Honk shoe! What is that? He sat up straight in bed. Maybe there's a monster under my bed. So he looked under the bed, but he only saw his grandpa's slippers and a bunch of little dust bunnies, and he waited, and he listened. The house was quiet, so he crawled back into bed. Honk shoe! What was that? Christopher sat up in bed again. There might be a bear in my closet. So he crept over and he opened the closet door. Squeak. He only saw his grandpa's shirts hanging in a row and a cowboy hat sitting on the shelf. He waited, but didn't hear anything else. So he crawled back into bed and he wrapped himself up in the covers. Hawk shoe. What's that? He sat up straight in bed again. It sounds like a dinosaur stomping down the street and he looked out the window, but he only saw the neighbor's house silent in the moonlight. I have got to find out what is making that sound. So he crawled out of bed, crept to the door. He listened, no sound. Waited, no sound. Waited a little bit more and then he heard it again. Honk shoo, creep, 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 honk shoo. It's coming from down the hall. His heart beat faster. The shadow of a mountain lion danced on the wall and he froze. The shadow moved closer. And his legs wouldn't move. It looked like it was going to pounce on him. Suddenly, Grandma's cat jumped out and Christopher jumped back. <gasps> oh, Whiskers, it's just you, he laughed. And then he heard the sound again and it was louder than ever and the window shook. It's coming from my grandparents' room. So he continued down the hallway and crept through the bedroom door. Honk shoo! It's coming from my grandparents' bed, he tiptoed closer. Honk shoo! It's coming from my grandpa! Grandma poked Grandpa with her elbow. You're snoring, roll over, she said. And Grandpa rolled over mumbling and the bed squeaked. <laughs> Christopher left, Grandpa snores, loud. What's that, Grandma said, and she sat straight up in bed. What's that, Grandpa said, and he sat straight up in bed. Oh, it's just me, Christopher said. I heard something. Come on in, Grandma said, you can sleep with us, but I have to warn you, your grandfather snores. So I've heard, Christopher said. And if he does, just poke him and tell him to roll over. Grandma said, good night. Good night, said Christopher. Good night, said Grandpa. And the house was quiet for a while. Honk shoo. Do you snore? You can find out. Ask mom and dad if you snore. Maybe you'll snore tonight. Who knows? Let's sing Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Shh. Lailato. I'll see you in the morning.